uh, say a lot about yourself with your hair, apparently. It can be an important part of your personal brand. Just think of Donald Trump. Well, ask the next president of the United States. It's no wonder then that the hair care industry is big, very big indeed. In fact, according to the world's largest cosmetics company, L'Oreal, the sector is worth more than 10 billion dollars. With an increasingly uncertain world economy, will we really continue to spend so much money on our crowning glory? Natalie Roos is president of L'Oreal Professional Products and joins us now from Paris. Welcome to you. Um, so uh, what does professional products, uh, what, what does that encompass? So you know, professional products are all products used by professionals. So as far as we are concerned, you know, we have uh, brands like L'Oreal Professional, Kerastase, Redken, Matrix, Pureology. So a lot of brands which are exclusively sold to uh, salons and used by professionals to care about women or men at best in their salons. So is this a sector which is growing fast? What part of the hair care sector is growing the most rapidly? It's, it's a growing sector and it's a sector with a high potential and especially at the moment with the digital boom it's a great opportunity for the professional uh, so sector how does the digital of boom, Forgive me for interrupting, how does the digital boom help, help the sales of products? It's an amazing phenomenon because you know today you want to have the best picture on Instagram and in order to do that you have to wear the best makeup and you have to wear the best hair look and especially color is now a complete new opportunity. I say hair color is the new makeup because today every woman wants to have a unique look, a unique identity and this is possible only with professionals because only professionals can really play with the latest trends and the latest techniques to create this unique look for women and men. Is there a lot of new technology going into this field? Yes, of course, uh, there are a lot of technologies as far as products are concerned, but also tools. Uh, just, uh, just at the moment, for instance, Dyson has just launched a complete new hair dryer, and we have a partnership with them. This, this hair dryer is not only a strong improvement for consumers, but also for hairdressers because it is ergonomic. The engine is in the, the, engine is in the handle, and uh, we are partnering with this to make sure that the experience in the salon is even better for our hairdressers and for our consumers. So the emphasis on, is on having a variety of styles, is it? There isn't just one particular look which is fashionable at the moment. No, you're right. This is what has changed a lot, is that before it was like uh, having a standard uh, look today, it's really having a unique look. And uh, every person wants to show his or her identity through her or his look and especially hair care is making a big difference and hair style is key in the identity you want to show. So I joked there about the, uh, the president elect Donald Trump and the fact that his hair has been so much a subject of discussion. I once heard a story that he went through a revolving door and the whole lot sort of took off and then came into land sometime later. Do you, what would you recommend to him to, to use his hair uh, as part of his brand? Is he doing okay? I, I would not uh, really uh, recommend anything <laughs> in this category, <laughs> but uh, of course, of course, uh, his hair style has been part of uh, of uh, his campaign. That's sure.